Hey, it's Kyle. I'm all excited about this. Um, I want to show you something that I do. Um, we do these events called flow groups and there's an exercise that we do there um, that's really crazy and really life-changing. And if you actually do it, it gives you a totally new understanding and a different perspective of how you have been living and how you can see how the way that you have been living has been limiting you and totally how to bring a whole new awareness to it and shift it. Um, this exercise is really, really, really powerful and I wanted to just offer it to you and let you know that um, if you just watch the video and you don't do the exercise, it won't be nearly the same experience. And I really recommend if you're not going to do the exercise to not even watch the video because some of the things that I'll say will be a surprise if you have done the exercise, but if you don't do the exercise and you just keep watching, then I'll say what the thing is before you actually do it and you won't see the thing. Um, so um, a few days ago I posted, if you realize that in this life that you were dreaming right now and you could do anything you wanted, uh, and I always say with the exception of hurting someone because sometimes people go, I, I'd go punch this guy that's my, you know, whatever. And if you could do anything you wanted that was forward moving, you realize this whole thing's a dream, what would you do? And I posted that and I said, and whatever your answer is, you should do that. And I really believe that. I believe that whatever you come up with, you would do, you should just do it because that's what you want to do. And if you had a magic wand and you didn't have what you believe are all these limitations, you would do it. And what always happens and what blew my mind is how many people wrote what they would do and then wrote why it wouldn't work. They then wrote, yeah, but I can't because I don't have money or I would, if I didn't have kids, I would do this. And they never understood that they're saying the thing that they would do, but they're paying just as much attention to the reason they can't. Now, I'd love to show you this exercise. I understand that those reasons that you can't are there, but I wanna show you something even crazier. So to do this exercise, um, what I want you to do, if you're interested in this, is grab a notebook, like a, a pen and paper, um, and if you can do like a two page uh, all paper notebook so that you have a blank left page and a blank right page, that would be even better. If you just have one piece of paper, that's still fine, this will totally work. Um, so there are many studies that show um, we have all kinds of insane insights and ideas and callings that show up to us all the time. And we've trained ourselves to ignore the calling. So all day we have this thing that shows up and it says, do this thing. And then we go, yeah, but I can't because. And one of the things we don't understand is the yeah, but I can't because is a reason that we use to basically stay the same. It's almost like I feel something that's expansive and pulling me. I better scramble and find a reason I can't. So you might have a calling and you're going, write a book. And your yeah, but might be like, I don't know how. Um, and that, so what? You, that's why you start, right? So we have all kinds of yeah buts that we look for. I should do this, I can't afford it. I should do this, but I have kids, I can't do that. I should do this, but my parents won't approve of it. You will find all day that you have calling show up that you're so used to ignoring now that you're so much more focused on why you can't. So what I wanted to do is, if you're interested in this, and I really recommend doing it because it might really change the way you see things, um, is take out your piece of paper and pen and on the left side of the paper, so if you have two pages, just, just on the left page, just go down like the left column all the way down. Uh, and make room that you can write later on the right side. So all you're gonna do is, if you did have a magic wand, if there wasn't, I don't have enough money, if there wasn't any, yeah, but, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spend a few minutes, you're gonna actually pause this video in a second, and you are going to make a list of, if you could, all of the things you would want, all the things you'd wanna do, like all the things you'd wanna feel, all the things you'd wanna experience, and really let yourself go. Write down like 50 to 100 things, seriously. Now people are probably going, oh, why would I do this? That's the, that's the yeah but that's stopping you from growing. That's the yeah but that's stopping you from experiencing something that you might be kind of shocked to experience. And what I wanna just challenge you to do, if you're interested in this, because it really excites me, and this is what changed the way that I live 
live and why all of a sudden I'm really getting to live the life that I want and getting to impact people and getting to create on new levels and feeling a sense of freedom um, that I never knew I could experience. Um, so what you're doing is you're going to write on the left side of the page all the things you would want, like I want to feel this, I want a million dollars, I want to impact people, I want to fly to another country, I want to write a book, I want to make a video series, I want to make a podcast. Let yourself go crazy. So what you want to do, what you want to be, what you want to experience, and many things. You can write vague things, just I want to feel this way more often. I want to feel calmer. I want to, you know, have more income. I want to be able to contribute more. Whatever it is, let yourself pause this and go as long as you can um, just writing like 50 to 100 things. Let yourself go crazy and spend a few minutes doing something for yourself because there's a second part to this and then a real lesson for the whole thing that makes this kind of crazy. So what you want to do is go ahead and pause this right now and write those things out. And I'll be here paused. So do it now. And we're back. Now, if you didn't do this, don't keep going because I'm going to show you something for the people that did it. So if you didn't write anything down, don't keep going. You're just, just like, it's not worth it. Go back and actually do this. It's, the, you know, a lot of times people hear this stuff informationally, but they don't ever do it experientially, which would be like going to the gym and having someone explain to you how a treadmill works versus getting on it. So when you write this out, you're going to get on it and you're going to do some kind of spiritual workout. You're going to you're going to take your brain to the gym. You're going to take your soul to the gym. So really make sure you actually did this and have a good sized list of all kinds of different things you want to experience and feel and know and be and, and give. And, and it's crazy. So first of all, if you did it, how crazy was that to just do it, right? So here's the second thing. Up until now, if you have ever wanted to do any of those things and you didn't, the reason there's you came up with a reason. In other words, for everything you wrote on the left page, you probably had at one point a yeah, but right. Meaning like if you look at something you wrote, you might say, I want to go to, I don't know, Switzerland. And then you, you immediately would go, I don't have time right? That would be maybe your yeah, but, or I can't afford it, or yeah, but I have a family, or uh, yeah, but my job won't let me. Or maybe you have, I want to leave my job, and you have, yeah, but then I'd be broke, okay? So for every line that you have on the left side, what you're going to do now is in a second, you're going to pause this, and you're going to write out on the right side all of the yeah, buts that match what you had on the left side. Okay, so every yeah, but sentence that you can come up with for why you haven't done this, you're going to write on the right side the yeah, but. So go ahead and pause this now and do that. So I want to go to here. Yeah, but I can't because of blah, blah, blah. I want to feel this. I can't because I'm really stressed all the time. Whatever it is. Go for it. Pause it now. And we're back. I hope you had fun doing those two things. And maybe you've already actually picked up something Anyway, and remember, as I said before, don't keep going if you didn't do this. It doesn't matter. So I want to show you something and I want to, it's really exciting, but I want you to not see this if you hadn't done the work. Um, so this is what's really crazy. So first of all, now, now that you've written this on the left side and you've written this on the right side, the first thing I want you to do is look back at the left side again. And I want you to notice where you feel as you look at everything without going to the right side, you just look at all the left side things. I want you to notice where you feel that in your body. So take a second and notice where you feel each thing in your body. Um, you know, you might, I'll, I'll let you just do it and I'll, we'll talk about it in a second. So go ahead, go ahead. And we're back. So if you just did that, um, Really, I hope you took a second, took a, maybe a minute and really looked at these and felt it. When I ask my clients this, I go, where did you feel it in your body? Almost always they say, I felt it here or I felt it in my body. I felt this crazy thing. I felt this forward moving thing. I felt this excitement. I felt it. And, and they often talk about it in this area. I felt a tingle in my chest or my stomach. I felt this thing. Now... I want you to take a look at all the things you wrote on the right side. And I want you to take a minute and feel 
where you feel that in your body. So go ahead and do that. And we're back. So if you did that on the right side, if you paused it and you did that for a while on the right side and looked at it, when I ask my clients and I ask you know people that work with me, where did you feel that? You'll notice that most of the time people say, I felt either like here or here. Very often we feel these things here and here, higher areas, right? The more we come up with why we can't do something, the more we cut ourselves off from our body. And very often um, the things that you wrote down and the feelings that you felt with those things, if you look at your left side and you felt a, an expansion feeling, you felt something in your body, that feeling is a preview. It's saying when you do this thing, you will always feel this way. And when you look at the right page, if you notice that you always feel here, you're going to get a preview again that you're going to be contracted, you're gonna feel stressed, you're gonna feel smaller, right? So I want you to picture that the left page is one body that you could live in, and then the right page is another body you could live in. And whichever thing that you honor more, like if you have a calling, but you honor the yeah, but, you're practicing living in your right page in your fear. And I want you to picture that these are like a choose your own adventure book. When I was a kid, we had books that you could choose your own adventure, meaning like you read the book and it says on a page, it'll be like, did they go to the castle or the house? If they go to the castle, go to page 46. If they go to the house, it's page 68 or whatever. And you could go to these different things, okay? Life is like this choose your own adventure book, right? Now imagine if the book said, did they go to the other country, yes or no? If you pick no because of your yeah but, the book's just like, all right, well thanks for reading, it's over. There's no more adventure, there's no more life, right? Now, a lot of people go, yeah, but these yeah buts are legit things. I don't have the money to go to the other country. I don't have this thing. I don't have the ability because I have kids. One of the things we don't understand is when we do move into our body, how much more our body, as we connect to ourselves, comes up with ways to make more money, to inspire other people. And we don't understand what that preview feeling is really meaning. And what I've learned in my life is the way to truly move now is to move towards what moves me into my body. That's how I make every decision. Does it make me feel lighter or heavier? Meaning we have some friends that you could not talk to for a year and you just pick up the phone and call them and they love you. That feels lighter, right? Then we have a few friends that we feel in trouble if we don't call them right away. That feels heavier, but we've trained ourselves to go after what feels heavier. That's your right page. You're looking for what feels heavier. You've trained yourself to stay in your head and ignore the calling that's coming through in your body. So your body has this calling always coming through. It would be like being in an office your whole life and having an elevator in the corner that you've always been ignoring. And that elevator goes to other floors and on other floors, life is easier. But if you've trained yourself your whole life to never go into the elevator, you often also need to come up with excuses. So you have a bunch of yeah buts. Now here's the trippiest thing. Notice how many of the things on the right page, on the yeah but page, could actually be reasons why you have to do the left page. Meaning like, I wanna live in my calling. Yeah, but I can't do that thing because I have a kid. All the more reason to live in your calling because you can give your kid permission and be an example for your child that you can do anything. I wanna go do this thing. I wanna go away and write a book for a month. I can't do that because I don't have any money. All the more reason to go live in your calling because what you don't understand is in your calling, you're going to go into a new dimension and have a new confidence that can come up with new things as long as this is in your body, as long as it expands you. This world has trained itself to live on the right page and ignore their calling. And you got to write out your calling on the left page. So if you want to change your life, start doing the things on the left page and stop listening to the reasons on the right page. And as you do that, you will go onto new levels of your life that will take care of the yeah buts. I have gotten so much proof of every time I feel a calling to do a leap, there's this part of me that goes, I wanna do this. And then I come up with the yeah but. And then I go, now which body do I wanna live in? If I live in the opportunity, the fear leaves because I take a leap into this thing. And the second you take a leap and you go, let's go, you go on to full 
ready to go powers and you're so excited about it that the fear leaves. Your pain wasn't anything other than you're trying to choose and your indecisiveness is actually what was killing you, right? So if you go, if you go, I want to do this and you go, yeah, but, and you go like this, the fear leaves. Now, if you go, I want to do this, I can't, yeah, but this, and you go into this body, you go into your head and the opportunity leaves. And if you really understand that every time you make a decision, you'll feel excited in your body and scared in your head, in almost all circumstances, ask yourself, which body would I rather live in? And the decision you make will move you towards that thing. I really want to do this. Yeah, but I can't afford it. Well, maybe you will be able to afford it when you start it. This sounds crazy to a lot of people, and that's their yeah, but brain that they've trained themselves so beautifully to listen to. I have made so many leaps in my life, so many crazy, crazy, crazy leaps, and there's very many quotes about that, and one is, leap in the world will throw you a net. This has proven for me to be 100% true. A year ago, we were doing a 200 seat theater and we were having a hard time filling it. And Dan, my teammate said, what do you really wanna do? And I was like, I wanna do a huge theater, like a 2000 seater. And right when I said that, that got very exciting to me, but my mind was like, yeah, but we could barely fill a 200 seater. That's why I have to do the big one because this is exciting. And believe it or not, when we said yes to doing a huge theater, which now we do the Alex Theater, which is 1400 seats, when we said yes to it, it got easier to fill because we were so excited about it. And in that excitement, we came up with so many ideas for videos that ended up getting millions and millions of views and just selling out those theaters. And now we're feeling complacent with the theaters that we're in. So we're gonna move to like a 10,000 seater next year. And the leap that I took, I didn't know contained that we're gonna do this bigger and bigger thing. And how many people write us and tell us so many amazing things were all contained in that excitement that we didn't understand but the second we said let's do it and then we heard the theater cost so much money and then my mind went into fear and I still said yes let's go and then my mind came up with the fastest most creative ways to fill it and we filled the theater very 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 quickly with no effort there was no effort it was just a creative idea going out and the excitement was so creative that the video itself got millions of views and we filled it so I have only a lifetime of examples of when you live in your left page, the right page goes away. I gotta plug my computer in because otherwise I'm gonna lose you. If you live in the right page, actually I'll just live at 1% and turn this off, but if you live in the right page, your left page goes away. So look at your list and if you wanna change your life, start doing as many of the left page things as you can because then you actually are having faith. You're not just talking about God and the universe all the time and not listening to the calling. That feeling is the calling. That's what faith is. That feeling is saying, come do it. So do it because you will change the world if you listen to your left page.